Walk to School Day is part of Mass Department of Transportation's efforts to get our children to get more physical activity. Um, new Bedford has been very supportive uh, previously and this year we have our new mayor joining us. Uh, we really like to see the schools throughout the city participate, whether they walk to school, from school, during school. It's so important that we increase physical activity and get our kids to be alert and bright when they get to school so they're ready to learn. You took the words right out of oh, my mouth, Pauline. It's okay. No, it's all good. It's all good. No, this is an effort to get kids out, get them exercise, and get them out of the house. There are too many kids these days. I don't want to sound preachy, but there are too many kids these days, as we all know, who spend time playing video games and watching TV. This is an effort to get them out in the sunshine, like we all did when we were kids. So uh, that's a good thing. Uh, I could also use a little exercise too today, so uh, this is this is this is a little uh, selfish on my part to get out and, uh, and exercise. Jim. Yeah, th this is obviously evidence of how excited the kids are to get outside and do something physical and really get involved with their community and get right to school. So we're looking forward to a great walk this morning. Uh, I won't talk about when I used to walk to school four times a day. <laughs> 70 years ago when I was just a little boy and we would come home for lunch and everything else. And uh, But it's very, very healthy lifestyle. And I think that, uh, you know, children have to realize they have to get out there and play they have to be active if, if uh, they want to keep obesity down. Ali? I agree 100%, and even though I'm younger than you, I also <laughs> walked to school and back for lunch and back again, so it was very good. Very, of course, those were the days when moms didn't have to work. Absolutely. Some moms yeah. did, but a lot of moms yeah. didn't, so they, we could come home to a homemade lunch. Ooh, yummy, yummy, but anyway. We make adjustments, but I think walking is something, and, and of course now, it's just gonna, it's better for the air quality, it's better all the way around, isn't it, Absolutely. Dr. Fletcher? New Bedford Mass in Motion has been trying to do this for the last several years as part of the larger Mass in Motion program um, where we are trying to address the childhood obesity issues that are affecting our country um, by increasing physical activity at a time when our children get so little recess, phys ed, we really need to get our physical activity in wherever possible. Plus, it's fun. It gets kids to move. It doesn't have to be a long walk. It can be um, a short walk. We call it the walking school bus. Uh, parents can drop their children off at a meeting place and walk together to the school and um, after school get another walk in. It's good for the parents and the grandparents too.
time walking this morning. I just want to say, boys and girls, that I'm one of your neighbors. I just live on the other side of the hospital. I know Mayor Mitchell is one of your neighbors. Mrs. Pollock, who's also on the school committee, is also one of your neighbors. So we're very interested in what happens at the Winslow School and what happens with every single one of you. And I must say that as far as the neighborhood is concerned, you're all great, right? Yeah. Everybody always says the right thing. And as Mrs. Hamill says, the most important thing is to get exercise, exercise, exercise. Don't just watch TV all the time. Don't just play video games all the time. Because you know what, boys and girls? Just look at me for one second, everybody. A year ago, I weighed 40 pounds more than I do today. You know why? Because I walk every day. You probably see me walking on all these streets every single day. And some, sometimes I go to places which are fun places to walk, like Horseneck Beach and the park and all kinds of places. But I'm an example, boys and girls, of someone who has lost all this weight just by walking. And I'm really talking to adults when I say this. Because most of you, you look great. You all look great. Okay, boys and girls. We're all, we're all very, very proud of the Winslow School. And all of you, I'm so happy to see you today. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Hamill. visitor who is with us today. His name is Mr. Paul Jacobson and he is the deputy director of the Region 1 Department for New England of the Department of Health and Human Services. Uh, Mr. Jacobson. Well, thank you very much. I just wanted to say on behalf of President Obama and Mrs. Obama, you've seen her in her Let's Move and doing the exercise. How many people have seen Mrs. Obama do that? Yeah. So she's helping to get us all to lose a little bit of weight and keep moving. And today with the mayor and your teachers and everybody else, uh, you're really doing a great job. So congratulations and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, well, only a couple more quick speeches. Um, I'd like to introduce Mr. Jim Retre from the uh, South Coast Hospitals. And um, he will then introduce our mayor. And we're so happy that the mayor came today. Jim? Good morning, Winslow School! So, what zone are we in? School zone! How many zones did we walk through today? Two! Two! Which ones were they? School zone and hospital zone. Yes, very good! I am so proud of you for getting out today and being active. This is the best school. You guys are always active and involved, and I enjoy coming here and teaching junior achievement. So great job getting out today. And I'm now going to introduce our mayor, John Mitchell. Good morning, everyone. Well, I don't know about you, but that was the most exercise I've had in about a year, so I feel great right now. Uh, this was an important thing to do this morning. The walking is a lot better than having to ride or uh, or, uh, or just staying inside. It's good to get get outside and exercise a little bit, you know, and then be with your friends, right? Did everybody have fun this morning? Yeah. Can we do it again? Yeah. It's better than video games, right? Yeah. It's better than TV, right? Yeah. yeah. Who said no? <laughs> Who said? <laughs> What does Daddy say about TV? It's junk food for your brain, right? Yeah, so think about it that way. That, that's exactly what I want to hear. I don't even know what a video game is. That's right. Put the video games down. Let's get outside and exercise a little bit. You guys are doing a great job. About a month left in the school year. Keep working hard. I have a proclamation today, but I don't want to read. I want to get a good reader. Mrs. Bailey. Can you give us somebody to read the official city proclamation? All right. 
Go ahead, go ahead and read a couple of paragraphs together. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Patrick Lawrence. All right, Patrick. And I'm Adrian Cruz. All right, Patrick. Go ahead, start in on it. Official proclamation of walk to school day. Where is? Where is? Oh, where is? New Bedford is a let's move city. No, so, sorry. Yeah, New Bedford is a let's move city. Part of the First Lady Michelle Obama's let's move campaign to make significant changes in community health nationwide. And increase in physical activity helps to combat anxiety, diabetes, and other health problems. Among children and walking or bicycling to school is a great way to incorporate physical activity into your child's daily routine. Parents and caregivers must teach their children about pedestrian safety and the risks of related to physical inactivity and Walking or bicycling to school is a great way to decrease traffic congestion, um, decrease air pollution from private vehicles, and decreases health risks associated with physical inactivity. And members of the community should join together to identify short term and long term opportunities to encourage students to walk and bicycle to school. And as part of the Safe Routes to School program and in partnership with New Bedford Mass in Motion, children, parents, and community leaders citywide are joining together today to walk to school to highlight and the health benefits that walking or bicycling to school can provide for students and their families. And, uh, and now, Therefore, be it resolved that I, John Mitchell, Mayor of New Bedford, proclaim May 2nd, 2012, Walk to School Day in New Bedford, Massachusetts, and encourage everyone to consider the safety and health of the children today and always. Gentlemen, nice work. Nice work. Nice work. Listen, listen guys, we have a great principal on Mrs. Bailey. Can we have a hand for Mrs. Bailey? Let's have a hand for your wonderful teachers at Winslow. Let's have a hand for your parents who care so much about you. Let's have a hand for yourselves who are working hard this morning and getting it done. Mrs. Bailey. All set. These guys are ready for school today. Are we ready for school? Let's hear the three B's. At the Betsy B. Wins 